Thank you so much for staying with us here on the Sportsmax Zone. It's time for football. FIFA has extended the mandate of the Normalization Committee to run the affairs of football in Trinidad and Tobago for another 12-month period. In March of 2020, FIFA first appointed the Normalization Committee to oversee the running of the sport in the Twin Island Republic. Among its main tasks was to establish a debt repayment plan, review and amend the TTFA statutes and ensure their compliance with the FIFA statutes, as well as to organize and conduct elections of a new TTFA executive committee for a four-year mandate. That committee, led by Robert Haddad, was expected to be in place for two years but got a one-year extension, which was set to expire on March 31 this year. However, FIFA says the committee needs time to complete the task it outlined. Well, here are some excerpts from FIFA's letter to Haddad. Dear Mr. Haddad, finally, the Bureau acknowledged that with the primary objective of allowing the Normalization Committee to fulfill one of its main tasks and with a view to prevent the TTFA's complete liquidation, as well as avoiding significant long-term harm to the organization, and football in general in Trinidad and Tobago, FIFA decided to provide financial support to the TTFA to address its extreme situation. Well, furthermore, due to the challenges that the TTFA continues to face and to ensure that the mandate of the Normalization Committee is carried out and fulfilled in strict compliance with the Bureau's decision, the Bureau decided on 27th of February 2023 to extend the mandate of the Normalization Committee until 31st of March 2024 at the latest. Well, Amil Mohamed, Acting General Secretary of the TTFA, joins us, joins us this afternoon. Mohamed was appointed by Robert Haddad, Head of the Normalization Committee. Good afternoon, Amil. Hi, good afternoon, Mara. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So I'll start by asking you, were you shocked by, you know, this decision to extend for a second time the time limit of the Normalization Committee? Well, we know that there's been lots of discussions regarding the Normalization Committee's term. We know that there's been a lot of work still left to be done. A lot of work has already been done. So I'm guessing that in the opinion of FIFA, a bit more time is needed now for the NC to complete its mandate. Yeah, and we speak about so many different things that, you know, uh, FIFA would have wanted the normalization to do under their tenure. One that stands out for me, the debt, the $50 million debt that, you know, we're still, we still need to clear. How far are we, are we from clearing that? I think that at this moment in time, we are probably towards the end of that cycle. There is still a bit more work to be done, a lot, a few more legal procedures to follow. There are some appeals in accordance with the bankruptcy and insolvency procedure. That is ongoing, as well as there is still the actual finalization of the payment to the creditors. But we believe that finally at this juncture, at this point in time, that we're a lot closer to closing those matters. Right, and FIFA has made it clear that, you know, they will be assisting the TTFA when it comes to financial support. And, you know, in order for any business to run properly, we need money. So how much do you and your team welcome that assistance? The, the assistance from FIFA regarded um, this financial support, as well as their assistance throughout in this entire process, inclusive of CONCACAF, as well as being tremendous. They have worked hand in hand with us throughout the way, and we're now seeing that with this financial agreement in place, with, we now feel like we could take that step towards finalizing the bankruptcy and insolvency process and moving forward to a more structured organization where a lot of the creditors will be paid and we'll be able to really set the foundation for Trinidad and Tobago football in a more positive light moving forward, especially into 2026 World Cup cycle and beyond. Yeah, Amil, can you speak to the volume of this financial support that FIFA has spoken about? Consistent with some of the, the articles and the such that we have already published, especially when the bankruptcy and insolvency process was approved by the judge, the financial agreement is with 3.5 million US dollars. 
Yeah, from what you've gleaned, Emil, how is the membership of the TTFA taking this latest extension? Right now, I think that the membership after our previous EGM came to an understanding that there is still a bit of work to be done. We want to continue to work with them as much as possible. We have a lot going on trying to get Trinidad and Tobago's football back off the ground, inclusive of the new Premier Football League. We recently launched the National Youth Leagues. So a lot of these things are within the Trinidad and Tobago football ecosystem. And with the, with the support of the membership and the other stakeholders in the country, be it the government and corporate TNT, that it is a much more positive light at the end of this tunnel. Yeah, and of course, at the end of that tunnel, the normalization committee ex expected to conduct elections and have a new executive in place for a four-year term. Is there a plan this time around in this one-year extension period to ensure that that transition when it does happen, and, and the expectation is that it will happen towards the end of this latest extension, that the transition will be smooth. Yeah, that is definitely the intention for the transition to be as smooth as possible. The objective of the NC and this entire process is to strengthen and to remediate the TTFA. So it's a matter of ensuring that all of the governance controls, all of the protocols, procurement policies, and all systems and procedures and that foundation is as strong as possible so that when the organization is handed over to the membership via that election, that it is a smooth process and a process that is on strong footing. Right, Emil, I want to thank you so much. You know, every time we speak about Trinidad and Tobago football, I'm a Trini representing here um, on a Caribbean platform. You know, I hope that in the near future we could not speak about all the mishaps and we could just talk about some successes with our Trinidad and Tobago Soka Warriors. Very much so, <laughs> man. That we could focus on most of the matters on the field, such as our friendlies versus Jamaica in a couple of days. Yeah. I think that hopefully and we are at that stage where that is the only topic of discussion. Definitely. I want to thank you so much for joining us here on the Sportsmax Zone. Uh, we'll chat again soon. Thank you. All right, Emil Mohammed there. He's the acting general secretary of the TTFA. It's break time. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news, and entertainment.